All right, guys, welcome back to the 6 7 Cummins build. Don't know what part this is, but like I said before, I'm trying to make this a 24 part build. I think it's going to be a little more, and I thought it was going to be a lot less. Anyway, I'm uh, throwing these injectors in. So, uh, right now I got four injectors in. So, I'm not going to put the nozzles in just yet. So, right now I'm just replacing. I think I did this one. Yeah, it's in there. Um, I'm just replacing the o rings. So, the o rings and the copper. I already took a bunch of the o rings and the copper off. So, just uh, basically show you guys what I'm doing here. I don't know if you can even see that or not. Anyway, I'm just taking this nasty o ring off. So, just pulling it off, sliding it out, and then course get the plague get the plague I'm probably gonna put you guys on this other side but I don't really want to touch the camera so anyway that's better so and then I'm cleaning this all out this groove it's getting groovy so just cleaning all this out this nasty gross crap so I already I'd already cleaned all these injectors before um, I don't remember before I even sent the uh, motor to the machine shop I cleaned everything and then they were just sitting in a bag a plastic bag um, forever so Anyway, let me uh, grab the kit. This kit comes with uh, extra seals. So it comes with, this all comes with the kit I ordered. So I think, so this O-ring, I believe, goes in here. Basically, you would take this cap off, and then you would put this O-ring in there. And then this little metal thing. I don't know where that goes. And I don't know where those go. And I didn't bother to look it up. But I think they go, you take this off, the nozzle off. And then you'll replace them in here. And I'm not one to take all these parts off for these injectors. Um, it's kind of a, I think it's kind of a precision job. So if I get the wrong torque or wrong something on it, I might have a leaky injector. And as far as I know, these injectors didn't leak. Um, so yeah, so just putting it on, just taking a little assembly lube, and I'm putting it on the uh, on the O-ring, just so it gives it some lubricity. And then I'm taking the copper, the copper chingus, sliding it on. So slide it on like that, clean it up a little bit, and then stay. And then I'm taking some more of this, I'm just putting this here, more lube, and then just putting the lube inside this opening so it doesn't cut the o-ring as bad or at all hopefully not at all and then just take the injector I'm lining the nozzle hole up to this side so and then I'm pretty sure this little tang goes in line with where that hole is and I'm just pushing them pushing them down and I'm pulling them back out I'll check the o-ring 
And then I'm putting them back in, pushing them back in. So, and then just moving them around. So, they're all pretty good. They all line up pretty good for what they are. So, anywho. So, I just got one more to do. And, uh, should be, should be golden for the injectors. And like I said, I'm not putting the, the feeders, the nozzles, I'm not putting those in because, uh, I gotta paint the head and the block and everything. So, just cleaning that groove out. Nasty stuff, man. I haven't even taken a shower today because I knew I was going to be doing this. And if I were to take a shower and mess with this, I'd feel gross the whole day. So, and I'm just taking all these, all the new parts, just in case, and they're going to go uh, in with all the parts, receipts, everything. This way, if the new owner so it has a problem, uh, what they can do is they'll at least have the parts, maybe, if they want to rebuild it or if they don't want to rebuild it. It's up to them. I honestly, if I were a new owner, I'd go buy new injectors. And uh, I'd stick new injectors in this thing uh, for two reasons. One being... They'd be new injectors, and two, because it's uh, it can handle a lot more power now. Now that it's got the uh, the ARP head studs and uh, all the other stuff that it's got done, the main studs, the ARP uh, rod bolts. So since it has all that crap done to it. It should be able to retain a little more, a little more horsepower. So, anyway, again, I'm just going to take some of this lube, lube up this O-ring here. And just walking it on. I'll take more of this lube. And dab it, dab it on here. Anyway, clean it up a little bit so it's not so nasty. And then take the rest of this lube and put it in the hole like I did earlier. Just sticking it all down in here just so it doesn't do that thing. And then, uh, Put this injector in. Oh, I gotta put the copper piece on. This piece goes on. They were kind of hard to get the old ones off. Um, so what I ended up doing to get the old ones off, I'll show you real quick, is I took a razor knife, a razor blade, and I just stuck it between there and then worked them off. Just kept turning this, turning this, and prying it off. So. Anyway, so it worked out, worked out pretty good. So let me throw this last one in. It's got the lube, it's got the copper, and it goes right there. So, all right, so those are all in, and I got all these Nozzles all cleaned up, cleaned out, sprayed them all. Well, I don't know if you could hear that. Probably not. Anyway, I got all these cleaned up. Um, putting some lube on these O-rings. I don't know why they didn't send me new O-rings for these. I don't know why or what, but these O-rings look good. Maybe that's why. But So I'm just going to use these. This is all just no scarring on it, no marring on it or nothing. But anyway,
So that's going to be it for this video. This is the uh, injector install. Um, and uh, like I said, I won't be putting those nozzles in. I'll show you real quick why. Because when I go to paint this, I don't want to paint the nozzles. So I'll be putting plugs in. I'm going to find some plugs, put plugs in here. And, uh, and then, you know, tape all this off, tape everything off, and then I'm going to paint it all. So... Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, thanks for just viewing the video. Um, I'm going to go in. I'm going to take a shower. And uh, I think I'll put the CP3 pump on. No, no, I won't because i got to paint it. So I did put this on, the outlet for the coolant. There's an O-ring in here. Um, and I did clean, I cleaned this all up. This took, this cover took about, I don't know, hour and a half to clean all this stuff off. Uh, I used a razor blade and it took forever. And then I stuck it on the wire wheel right here and cleaned it all. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, later.